Hi friends, we have just concluded the discussion of uh, of envy by Francis Bacon. Now we just start with the today we start with of fortune. Fortune, different ways people become fortunate, their attitude and so on. You will find here. So this is the introduction. I will read out the main points. Outward accidents make a man fortunate. Outward accidents means incidents, not accident, not a press accident or anything like that, but incident. Man is the maker of his own fortune. Another point, external causes that help a man to become fortunate, follies of men, other people, errors of other people, hidden virtues of some people. They may be high, we don't know. There are some people who have got qualities which are hidden in them. And then uh, one should look for it. That is, generally it is said that fortune is blind, like justice is blind. But you should look for it, then it will be visible to you. And uh, like the Milky Way. The way of fortune is like the Milky Way. Because you can say that together they stand, but each one is separate. Each one emits light of its own. And now, so it is a cluster. Means many things you must have. Uh, there should be many causes, many situations, and so on, to a person to become fortunate. And those who are extremely honest may not become fortunate. Huh. That is another point. Uh, hasty fortune and exercise to fortune. And uh, next, uh, sixth is two daughters of fortune, that is, confidence and reputation. And seventh is attitude of wise men to fortune. And the eighth is risk of asserting your role in becoming fortunate. And lastly, homage races. So if we say, start with the first one, outward accidents make a man fortunate. What are the possible outward accidents you can say? Say, you can see, say, opportunities. Favor, F-A-V-O-U-R. Some so it so happened that some people like some. They are interested in some people. So they will help them and they will go grow. Go go up in life. A rise. Climb up uh, the ladder of life. Then another is that opportunity. See, we can see what happened to the Old Testament there's the story of Joseph. So he was in the prison. And then what happened is that an opportunity came up. And uh, that the interpretation of dream and so on, he became minister. So that is fortune. Death of a person. It happens that a king dies very young. Then his son, although just, uh, no, maybe in his uh, minority, he becomes king. So that is death of some person. It can happen like that, isn't it? So these are external accidents or external incidents that may help a person to become fortunate. That is outward, as you said, no? Outward accidents make a man fortunate. Or it can be just lottery ticket. You just take a lottery ticket and you get 5 crores, 10 crores, 100 crores. Or gambling. So that is an opportunity. You go for that. Thousands of people go for gambling, but you get it. So that is outward accident. Then second is, a man is the maker of his own future. This is the opinion of Baker. This is the opinion of Machiavelli also. No, the political thinker, political philosopher, Italian political philosopher. You know. So, so there is a, in fact, you know, he was, Bacon was influenced by Machiavelli. A scrupulous politician. Now, here he says, you are the maker of your, your own destiny. External incidents are there, but, but still you are the maker of your own destiny. You can make yourself or mar yourself. Mar means destroy. So this is what he says. Understand? You can make or mar. That is up to you. That's what the, that is a belief or that is a uh, philosophy of Francis Bacon. Now third, external causes that help you. What are the external causes that can help you? Follies of one man can be the gain of another person. A person makes a mistake. That can be the gain of another person. For example, Shylock made a mistake and he was signing that contract. He forgot about the blood 
the blood aspect. So what happened? Dasani became fortunate. So this. And then you have got so Antonio became fortunate in that way. Or you can see the casket scene. How he selects a particular casket. All the others, they committed mistakes. Their mistakes you know, Bersan, uh, became Bersani's fortune. Because things can happen in life. And then you see, uh, another point is that some days you like to consume a person. <laughs> that is, for example, uh, the example given here by Bergen is that a snake becomes a dragon by eating another snake. So, that also. We are, you know, we don't, the um, I fully agree with that, but still, that's what uh, the essay says. Then, a second external of some hidden virtue. There are some people who have got a hidden virtue. We don't know, for example, Portia. We never thought that Portia would be such a wise counsel in that case, in the court scene. See, she got that particular uh, that point, you know. Yes, you can take a pound of brush, but don't drop a single, I mean, don't drop a single drop of blood also. Don't shed a single drop of blood. So that's a telling point. Look that. So what happened is that both Bersanio and Antonio, they became fortunate. So, so that is some hidden virtues which, which, which we don't know. See? Normally you think, oh, she is a woman, what does she know? So something like that we might think. Because actually she took permission from his her brother to argue this case. That means just of confidence. Listen, so hidden virtues are there. Then, another point to note is that uh, one should look for it. Justice is blind. So also fortune is blind. But, he says, according to Bacon, although it is invisible, if you look, if you explore, it will be visible. That means, you can, in a way, bring it under your control by your hard work by your perseverance then when you do something like this no you are uh, at, you are at it we say no? we say that we are at it then what will happen the world will be with you if you are doing something good so you become fortunate like great leaders you know? Nelson, Nelson Mandela for example how many years she, he was in the prison but finally he came out victorious. So he looked for it. He looked, he saw fortune. Looked for it means he worked for it. That's he worked here. And the next one is, one should like the, like the Milky Way. It says fortune, uh, fortune's way is like the Milky Way. Milky Way you find thousands of small tiny stars. Each one emitting light. Exactly like that, a cluster of events, a group of events are required for you to become fortunate. It's not a single event, but many. But again, I told you about a lottery ticket. Now probably that person might have been taking it for how many years, trying his luck in many such lotteries. And finally, he gets through. Gets through. Now, that, that's what happens. So this is Many circumstances are required. A number of virtues means qualities, etc., required for a person to become uh, fortunate. And then next point is those who are extremely honest may not become fortunate. That is saying that don't be, don't be. Uh, there is a saying that don't be a Catholic. Don't be more than a. So if you don't be a Catholic more than the Pope. Such people, you know, if you are out, honest, do anything, everything for your leader or for your king or for your country, or what will happen is you will die. You will have to sacrifice your life. That is the end of it. So such people. What uh, Bacon is trying to tell us is that you should have some Reserve energy for yourself. When you are honestly working for someone, at the same way you should look around for opportunities for you to come. Don't forget yourself. If you forget yourself and work 
honestly for this, there is no scope for you to become fortunate according to Baker. That's it. And then, there is Machiavellian in him. There is a, you know, that is a, what we can see, see, that Machiavellian ideas are coming up with you. That means you should also be selfish. You should just not be honest alone, but you should also be selfish. Only then you will be able to come up in life. Whether we agree to or not, we agree to it or not, that is up to us. The fifth one is hasty fortune and exercised fortune. So one is that overnight you become fortunate. The other is step by step you work. A step by step working and becoming fortunate is exercised fortune. On a fine morning, you get up in the evening, say you sleep, go to bed as a beggar, get up as a millionaire. So, such cases are there. But that is, he says, there's a difference. They exercise the fortune uh, that will remain forever. But the other one may not remain with you. That is. And next, there are two daughters of fortune. Daughters of fortune means uh, you had say the the uh, benefits of them. One is confidence. If you have money, you can preach and fortunate and uh, your friends, you have got uh, at your back and goal, you have servants and so on. You become automatically confidence will build up. Simply, that is confidence. The other is reputation. Then when you become a rich man, you can donate, then you can be charitable, you can be generous, you will, be, you will become uh, reputed. Your reputation will go beyond the boundaries of nations. As you can see, Bill Gates, see, then uh, he's funding water supply programs, then uh, so again uh, containing certain diseases like leprosy and so on. So that he has become world famous. See that? See that? Uh, and then we have got uh, such millionaires you know, who do it. Say, uh, you have got, uh, you remember that, uh, um, there, was, uh, there are all these uh, big guns, you know, big guys, this uh, mega uh, IT, those are owners of mega IT companies, mega factories and so on. Now, uh, then there is, uh, uh, you have got uh, people who are chains of, chains of uh, retail shops, they are big men, so then what do they do is they, they, they become, they, first of all, they themselves, they will have some confidence and secondly, they will become very charitable and become very famous in this world. Reputation. These are the two daughters of uh, fortune. And then, attitude or wise men to fortune. When a person becomes fortunate and rich, you know, very rich person you are, then some people say, it's because of my hard work. But wiser people will say, oh, I, God gave us. What is the blessing of God? This is the providence of God. Then what will happen? That will, in a way, uh, help you, um, I mean, save you from the envious eyes of other people. Oh, you are so rich. Then, oh, I, I, I am a simple person. I am not so God. How I met you. <laughs> then what do they do? Ah. So that's the way you should do. Not that I have done, I have been hardworking. I'm a self made man. And so on, if you say, then people will definitely their eyes, invidia, evil eye will fall upon you. So to escape from that, this is the only way. And another thing is that when you say, see, I am, uh, I have become like this because of problems. Then what are you are surrendering yourself to a higher authority. That higher authority is God and that itself is great. It's a very important point. So you, suppose you get a first, first class, first rank, yeah? then the people are congratulating you. So, oh, this is not because of my... You can see now people, yeah, when they pass out of um, say, IAS exam and so on, there is an injury. And they will say, oh, this is not, I, I did not expect this, but this is because of the blessing of God and help of my parents and my parents' support and so on. Therefore, what happens is that you are the, the evil eye of the envy, will not, evil race of the envy will not 
for a body. That is why wiser men do. Understand? And then, risks of observing your role in your fortune. Now, if you say, for example, huh? see, then you have, ah, by the way, you must, ah, then, that's the word. For Timotheus, that is the name of the person. He was a renowned general and a naval leader. And when he, you know, his victory speech, he asserted that there was, there was no help from outside. Everything was done by me. What happened is after that, he never became success, successful in his life. So that is the risk. Don't attribute any victory or success to yourself alone. But it should be to other people. Kindness of other people, support of other people, never all God. But if you, on the other hand, like Timotheus, say, so my, I have done it, I have done it, I have helped, I have conducted this, uh, uh, I mean, affair, or I have managed it with my ability, and so on. Such people, it is seen in history that they don't come up later in life. Listen, they, after that, they meet with this failure after failure. Therefore, he says, Bacon says, better don't do that. And then finally he says, fortune is like homage verses. Homage verses are placed everywhere. Equally or much better poetry. Might have been or verses, might have been written by other poets. But it so happened that homage verses are placed. Why? Nobody knows. That is, fortune is blind. There is something in it. Some intangible thing, which we cannot understand. So fortune is, like justice, fortune is also blind. Who should become fortunate, who should not, do, who should become unfortunate? There is no, uh, you cannot explain it, you cannot give a rational, a reasonable explanation for that. Like Homer's verses, how they have become so popular. Even now they remain so popular. I would add another one more point, like Shakespeare's plays. Hmm. Uh, how many people those days were writing plays, say Ben Johnson and so on. And what happened to them? Marlo, Christopher Marlo, Christopher Marlo, of course, died young. Whether if he would have lived, we do not. But as far as we know in history, for knowledge goes none other than Shakespeare. And is Shakespeare without any fault? No. We have seen a few writing about the faults of Shakespeare. But still, he remains... Uh, he, he, for all ages, he remains the greatest of all dramatists. So that is, you cannot uh, explain that. That's it. Okay, so once again, if you go through this, uh, main points are, more on which you will take one by one, then explain. Now here, outbreak accidents, I already told you about the uh, opportunities, favor, death of a person, see, or uh, somebody discovers you, that is, that also can happen. You are an unknown person, but you come in contact with the very important person, and that important person likes you, a VIP, and he gives you a lift. Such things can happen. Or you can be married. You are a beggar-like person. Nothing, you don't have any qualities you think. But it's a, one of the most beautiful uh, women of the world, richest, one of the richest women of the world, falls in love with you. Then you become rich. <laughs> by marriage you get. By marriage also, you can also become unfortunate. That's another thing. But uh, this is an example that I am giving. Okay then, you are going to make your own nature and you can ask that is uh, one, one view. Then you have got external causes, police of men, errors of men. People make errors, I have given this already examples. Those who are extremely selfless people, usually they don't become uh, fortunate. The difference between hasty fortune and the exercised fortune. Exercised fortune means step by step, the other is overnight. And then you have two daughters of uh, fortune, that is two benefits you can say. Some good, two good effects. 
One is conference, conference for you, the other is the protection. And the uh, next one is attitude of wise men, they will say this, God's this. They will look like this. <laughs> and then risk of asserting, that means you are lost. And then form your services. Why? Question mark. Hope that you have followed that uh, main points. The frame is set. Now from tomorrow we will discuss point by point and then more examples will be given. And also examples in the text itself. Before that I uh, humbly request you to go through the text. And in this short essay, there's many Latin quotations. Not only, I'll explain everything to you later. Okay? So before we leave, please look at this, do our best. What is that explanation here? Use soap, use sanitizer, use that is wear a mask, keep and uh, distance, help others, wish well. It's if you come to know that somebody is sick, so that speedy the world, <laughs> this wish well and travel less. As far as possible, stay home. Then what do you do? Uh, staying home, be academy, be alert. Uh, physical exercise as well as mental exercise. Try, you try to remain healthy. Then you can, that itself is a help to others. So you remain healthy. Healthy practices in life, very important. And then hope for the best. If they will dawn for us to come together again. Let us hope for the best. Bye. Have a nice time. Enjoy your life.